Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is not a DIY video, guys. I'm actually going to detangle my hair. Like, it has been a whole three months that my hair has not been detangled. Now, actually thinking about it right now actually makes me really scared because it's like, how could I have done this to myself? Like, literally, how has it got to this point where I'll go a whole three months without detangling my hair? To be honest, I've never been through this before. I've never done it before. Um, but it's just been one of those things that I just kept putting off. Um, and essentially, <laughs> it's now three months and my hair is like crazy tangled, knotted. You can see how my hair is quite short at the moment now i did wash it as well i washed it i conditioned it um yeah so it's all sort of i don't know it has definitely shrunk a lot and also with the tangles and knots in it it doesn't really help so i have like a really nice big throat at the moment but quite frankly i'm actually like really scared of detangling my hair right now because I don't know how long this is going to take me like to get it completely done and also how much shed hair I will have. Now the thing is, I have been of detangled maybe like here and there but really nothing serious and not even like throughout my entire hair. So I probably have been of detangled the front. The thing with me, yeah, seriously, I don't know how it got like this but I just developed this really bad habit of not being in my hair too much to be honest so sometimes i will start detangling my hair and then i'm gonna get like so tired and just leave it and never come back to it um sometimes i might just find myself doing something else and then essentially leaving my hair as it is and then the next time i come back to it it's basically like a wash day and then i go in there and wash it again I'm like yeah i'm going to detangle it this time and it just never happens it just never happens guys so please don't be like me it is really bad and right now quite frankly i wish somebody could just do it for me i wish i could just sit down and get someone to just do it like you know or maybe just click my finger and then my hair is like nice and properly detangled i can run my fingers through um but yeah let's just come back to reality yeah let's come back to reality because it's me that's gonna have to deal with this right now to be quite honest as well the thing is maybe even if there was somebody here to do it will i be able to trust the person enough to actually do my hair properly without breaking it so i don't know i really don't know but yeah so let's hop into the video guys so today you will just be watching me detangle my hair and i'll share with you basically how much shed hair you know i've accumulated over the period of three months like it's crazy so yeah let's see what what it's going to be like it's going to be a very interesting um journey and i don't even know how long it's going to take me but yeah let's just get started if i don't finish this video today I will definitely finish it, I don't know, sometime this week, okay, because I've got work tomorrow and I'm just looking at the time right now and um, it's crazy because the time right now is actually, can you guys see that? Focus is actually like 10.45 at night time, um, so I need to detangle my hair on time to go to bed so i'm hoping that hopefully by like quarter past midnight i will be done and then i can just get myself ready and jump right in bed and have a nice sleep you know but if it's if i'm not done by that time i'm just gonna leave it and just do another day but hey i'm gonna try fingers crossed fingers crossed guys let me know in the comment section down below if you think i'm gonna finish detangling this hair before going to sleep so in an hour and a half do you think we can do it let's see let's go let's go let's wash okay so what i decided to use guys to help with this detangling process is this bit it's uh basically flaxseed gel mixed with aloe vera and a bit of water now i do love flaxseed gel um, as a detangler but the thing is it leaves my hair very crunchy afterwards um not afterwards like when it dries uh, my hair is really soft like media applied i apply it to my hair it feels really nice um, but it leaves my hair crunchy after it dries so and sometimes it has like those flakes on it I decided to mix it with a bit of aloe vera and some water as well just to dilute it a bit hopefully fingers crossed I don't get any um what's it called I don't get like any flakes or 
what's that called a crunchiness on my hair so let's see how i get on with this because quite frankly i don't want to have to wash my hair again i have actually just washed it it's looking nice and clean you guys can see there it's so shiny um yeah so i've washed conditioned it uh did all the good stuff pretty much so i'm not hoping to wash it again very soon so i do pray that this does not give me flakes because if it does it means that i have to go back and wash my hair again and i don't really want to do that so fingers crossed so i'm going to be using that i'm also going to be using my white tooth comb now i've actually bought a detangling brush but i'm just too scared to use that because um i feel like i just have so much tangles in my hair and maybe using that brush will not really help it i might end up losing my hair i don't know i think i will use a white tooth comb for now and then for oil just to like allow more slip or maybe like to seal the moisture in my hair i'm going to use this diy um butter that i made i can't remember it was from maybe like a month ago um so i've already started using it i don't know if you guys can see it yeah so i just start using it i do love this butter it smells mm, it smells so good and yeah it's really moisturizing on my hair as well so i think i shared that video with you guys i'm going to link it somewhere up here if you haven't seen it so i will be using that to seal the moisture in my hair and obviously a uh, uh, hair what's it called a headband um just so i can you know part my hair so let's get started let me just take my ring off because i'm not about to get my hair stuck in it because that always happens there's this fly like literally this fly is so annoying i don't even know what a fly is doing in my house at this time of the night like it's crazy right okay so oh my goodness even parting the damn hair is a problem already like let let me show you guys i don't think i even showed you how tango this hair is right now can you guys see like you can't even see the pattern of my hair can you like you can't it is on the back the back is worse like seriously when i tell you you see the back guys you see that <sighs> when i tell you guys how scared i am right now to do this hair trust me i am Whew! but let's get into business so i'm gonna start oh my gosh with the front section of my hair i will try as much as i can to like part my hair properly so i don't end up like breaking it or doing something crazy but honestly oh, i promise myself i'll never leave my hair get this bad again because it's just whew. yeah okay so just parting it there and then i'm just gonna hold this part see my hair can't even like properly hold a ponytail <laughs> that is crazy oh my goodness can you see that guys i can't even like properly hold the ponytail that is mad oh it does feel it does feel a bit tight you know it does feel tight but anyways yeah so let's let's do this part so i'm going to use this spray and just spray it on it oh fingers crossed don't give me please don't give me any nut any um what's it called any flakes so i'm just spraying this on my hair I do love the feel of clean hair guys like literally when my hair is clean it makes me feel so happy clean hair means happy me sorry that has see how I'm trying to like separate it really gently yeah so as I was saying guys clean hair means happy me I love love the feel of clean hair and the shine that you get with it and all um but obviously when you wash your hair it's always a mission because you have to detangle afterwards and i hate detangling so anyway so this is the uh, butter that i'll be using for this section so i'm just going to rub it in my fingers fingers rub it in the palm of my hand and then i'm just going to put it on my hair 
making sure that we get all every single bit of it so you see my scalp hurts it hurts as well I don't even know like I've been having a really sensitive scalp as well recently I don't even know like what's going on I think I'm just like too tired so I'm just combing it from my ends guys and then I'm gonna work my way through to my to my roots so I'm being as gentle as I can possibly be right now just making sure that you know I don't snap my hair and break it do you normally have you ever gone through this where you left your hair without detangling for such a long time like how long have you gone without detangling your hair tell me in the comment section down below let's let's find out if I'm the only one that does this because truly it's not good it's really not good God is literally so matted at the bottom oh my goodness I've actually been thinking recently of going to the salon because I really want to get my hair straightened um, I want to get my hair straightened and uh, and trimmed because I haven't really trimmed my hair in like I think it's been maybe like six months or so or more so I really want to like go to the salon and get my hair trimmed not trimmed sorry um, straightened and yeah and, and trimmed but to be completely honest yeah every time i think about it i'm like yeah that would be a very exciting experience yeah but then on the flip side when i think about it again i'm like how do i know that the person that's going to do it is going to do a good job because like the last time that i had my hair like straight uh, straightened or silk press in the salon Guys, when I tell you I lost a ridiculous amount of hair, like, it's, it's crazy. Because I felt like, so yeah, I'm just, like, removing the shed hair. So I felt like the lady that was helping with my hair, uh, that was doing my hair, was so in a hurry. You know, she was so in a hurry and she was washing through. Obviously, you know, like, afro hair, when you wash it without sectioning it, like, you know it gets really tangled and matted and my hair can do that quite a lot so I felt like you know because that happened she didn't really have the patience and the, probably like the energy on it or maybe like the time to actually like properly detangle it um so in my head my hair being wet she just went straight in with like the blow dryer and, and a comb and started just like combing it from the top and basically I felt like you know I don't even know how to explain it like you know when you have like a lot of hair and long hair as well it's very very easy to get it matted and tangled in that so every time that she was combing it from the top obviously that top part was drying out but the bottom part wasn't and it was literally just creating more tangos and more knots in my hair so in the end I did lose quite a lot of hair just going to that salon that one visit like literally if you see the amount of hair that fell out it was literally crazy so I'm actually thinking about like going there not going there especially but specifically but going to I don't know like going to a salon just to still press my hair but I need to find one that is really like good uh, a salon that can actually deal with like uh, my hair type um, and maybe has experience in dealing with my hair type and I'm thinking maybe this time instead of like going and having my hair washed and you know all those things done to it I'll probably just go with my hair washed already do you get what I mean like I'll just wash it at home detangle it myself uh, essentially just go there for her to just blow dry and, and 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 straighten and hopefully that will save save a lot of my hair we're trying so i'm very surprised though it seems like not a lot of hair is coming out am i just like getting this wrong i don't know it's, it seems like every time i try and pull it i'm not really seeing much hair coming out so i don't know let's see 
I don't know if the shed hair is literally just staying right in there because it's crazy because it's been such a long time since I've actually done detangled my hair so oh my goodness guys this is so oh, it's so tangled and hard to do you know what I might do oh <sighs> tired I'm, you see I'm already tired <laughs> I'm already tired and frustrated. I haven't even done one single section of my hair right now. Seriously, send help. Send help. I'm really, really tired right now. It's like every time that I put my comb through, I just encounter like an obstacle, you know? And that's annoying. That is really, really annoying right now. And I'm really trying my hardest not to rush through it and just, you know, cause more harm than good. <sighs> Don't know when these obstacles are going to stop. <laughs> you know what I mean by obstacles, guys? You encounter like a knot or a tangle or, I don't know, something along the way. Oh, it's literally... Guys, look at the shed hair. Oh my gosh, can you see that shed hair coming through? Guys, my scalp really hurts right now. From like the, just detangling just this one section, literally. I think we're like almost 20 minutes in. It's crazy 20 minutes in only one section of my hair it hasn't even been done yet you know ah seriously I don't know who sent me I don't know who sent me this is like so bad the shed hair right now is actually ridiculous That feels nice. When you actually put your comb through and it comes out on the other side, gosh, it feels like heaven. <laughs> it really feels like heaven. But that's literally after like 20 minutes of being in this one tiny section of hair. I mean, it's crazy. Well, I really like how my pen is at pen, how my comb is actually like sliding through. So that actually feels very nice, but quite honestly, my scalp right now really hurts. Um, I guess it's because of the constant like pulling. You guys can see like the amount of shed hair. Let me show you guys. So look at the amount of shed hair literally that is coming out of just this one section. Ah, <sighs> this is crazy, people. Look at that. Camera focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. Look at this part, guys. Look at the amount of shed hair. Just on this one section of hair. Huh? This is literally... This is literally crazy. Look at that, guys. Look at this. Look. Wow. Gosh, I will never ever do this again. This is like the worst, the worst thing ever. Leaving my hair undetangled for this long is literally not a good idea at all. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. Don't worry, I'm going to pick up... I'm going to pick up the hair that has fallen and I'll show you but yeah this part is done um, let me twist this part and just move on to the next okay guys so just that just this one section of hair this is how much shed hair let me focus this camera okay so yeah this is basically how much shed hair 
I had just for one section, just this section. See that? I think it's quite a lot. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a normal amount, a good amount, a small amount? But I feel like it's quite a lot of hair. So, but anyways, considering I've not detangled my hair like a whole three months, it might just be okay. So let's move on to the next section. Whew, and repeat. Now we are already, it's already 10 past, 10 past um, 11. So this has taken me, just that one section has taken me over 20 minutes to do. Oh, that is crazy, crazy. Okay, let me just clean my forehead a bit. Right. So let's do another section. this part literally you guys look at how short my hair is <laughs> look how short my hair is it's like so hard to even hold a single ponytail because of how much shrinkage and tangos I've got in my hair right now I think what I'll do I'm going to attempt to finger detangle first maybe that might actually help a bit because it does take me quite a long time to get through one section so maybe if I just finger detangle a little bit before actually getting into it with my comb it might help a bit so let's see guys my battery is actually blinking right now and to be completely honest I'm so tired um, let's see the time it's now 11 41 um, I've only done like two sections of my hair and I'm actually tired I'm gonna go and sleep you know and then I'll continue this tomorrow um, so I'm most likely to detangle my hair off camera and then I'll just come and show you how much shed hair I've had because it's it takes so long literally in over an hour actually about an hour I've only done like two sections like it's crazy it's crazy um so just from these two sections of of hair that I've done this is how much shed hair we've had yeah that's basically how much shed hair we've had so i'm going to actually detangle my hair off camera and then i'll come and show you the whole thing so i'm going to go and sleep now because i'm tired and i've got work in the morning um so yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow um when i actually finish this so see you guys
okay guys so this is day three at this point i had finished detangling my hair and it felt so good to have properly detangled hair and nicely twisted clean hair basically like all of that and i was literally so excited so this is what my hair looks like on the third day um after it's all detangled you can see that smile on my face right literally the best feeling ever now i'll definitely never ever leave my hair like this and i would not recommend doing it guys because the tangles are real and it takes so long to get through it this is how much shed hair i had um i don't know i felt as though it wasn't as bad given i hadn't detangled my hair for a whole three months but let me know what you think so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching and if you love the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!